Now in life, I truly believe if you do good things, everything will work out for you. Now for me, y'all know I lost my best friend, my father, most importantly, my mother. See, the guy that killed my mother, I was scoping this dude out for about two weeks. I had an opportunity right there I could have just got it out into his life right there. But something, something didn't feel right. As I say, once you do good in life, everything will come back to you. So that's why, as much as I wanted to risk it all, like most of y'all wanted me to, I, I just, I just couldn't do it. But I knew deep down, he had what's coming to him. I promise you, he get what's coming to him. Now, both of my parents, even my best friend, they would not want me to risk it all by a stupid decision like that. I worked so hard to get where I'm at. And to lose it just like that, I knew they wouldn't want me to do that. Like I say, karma is real, man. You better believe that. Yo, we are back. Now, I know a lot of y'all, when y'all see the opening scene, a lot of y'all might not like the decision, but y'all got to stick around for the entire video. Now, coming to this season, bro, we finished our strong winning the national championship last season. I can't believe we're getting up our first touchdown of the year. But as you can see, we still number two on the depth chart in safety, and that quarterback got drilled. Can we scoop and score? We cannot. But we up 20 to 7. Hopefully, we can continue to put in work. And hopefully, we will be first on the depth chart. Because I don't see why not. This kid makes everybody around him better. As we make a tackle. But the quarterback do pick up a first down and get four yards. We up 34 to 7. We sniffing out that screen pass. And we make a tackle. The running back only get one. Fourth quarter action. Being that we second string, we kind of stay in the game with the backup so we end up winning that game 34 to 7 first game of the season you love to see it man let's keep it rolling game number two against fau florida atlanta we already up seven to nothing we're sniffing out the play tfl man they go for negative three yards we up 14 to nothing you love to see it blitzing off the edge come here boy you not going nowhere second quarter and that is the first interception on the season. We cannot pick six that thing to the crib, but it's definitely okay. We up 21 to nothing. Sniffing out the play, we make a wonderful tackle, man. TFL 21 to nothing, third and 12 right here. Screen pass, and we sniff it out beautifully. But the running back broke the tackle, but look at that, that boy banks right there for the big hit. Second and 10, quarterback trying to take off, and we are right there. He do pick up nine yards though. 28 to nothing. We're up. Third and one. I wish he would have pitched that. We would have took that to the crib, man. But six tackle, two tackle for loss. One interception. We end up winning the game. 35 to nothing. Now coming into the you know third game of the season, Billy Napier, Harris, they decided why not give this kid the opportunity to see what he can do. And we definitely proven that in the practice that y'all see this kid out here making plays making interceptions you know what i mean making open field the surefire tackler bro and the coaches was impressed by this guy leadership ability and just like that we was number one on the depth chart it's been a long time coming finally we are no one on the depth chart. Let's see if this kid can continue to make players play to me can continue to make plays and make the people around him better. Right here, we make a great open field tackle. But Cooper ended up picking up eight yards. First and ten. And we fumble. And we fall on it. I wish we that would have been a scoop and score, but that's cool. Throw that. He gets sacked. Punt the ball, baby. Let's go. We up 10 to nothing, and we break up that pass. You love to see it. All right, third and 10, play y'all zone. Throwing it deep. 
And that is it to say that we're not going to hate on our teammate, bro. He got the interception. We up 13 to nothing. First and 10. You come through the hole like that. You got to come with it. This dude has officially poked up in the offseason, man. He grew an inch. He put on some pounds. He is 6'4", 236 pounds safety. This dude is a man child. <laughs> you know what I mean? This dude, like I say, he play edge. He plays linebacker. And we get caught sleeping, but we end up making the tackle, man. Not a lot of action going on. And again, we won 19 to 7. Going against Tennessee, we still undefeated, man. Tennessee is one and two. I believe that, yeah, there's Nico, man. Nico, you know, getting sacked on the play. We sniffing out the play, yo. We sniffing it out. Pitch that. Look at the hustle. We make a great tackle, but Samson do pick up three yards on the play. Third and seven. We sniffing out that screen pass. We sniffing it out. First and ten. Oh, sir. Side, side, sideline, side, sideline. Side you are not going to beat this kid to the edge. I promise you that. Another great tackle. This kid has got a definite no for the ball. I'm interested to find out and see who drafts this kid at the next level. Because he kind of is familiar with pair comparison like a Isaiah Simmons. Well, Isaiah Simmons was coming out of college. Feel me? Kind of that same role. But I feel like this kid definitely is more explosive. And Nico ended up getting sacked deep in their own territory. Second and 10. Nico all kinds of time trying to scramble. He ended up getting sacked. We still 14 to 3. Nico, you not going nowhere. A TFL, man. 30 second left before halftime. Screen pass. We sniffing that out beautifully. A TFL, man. A second half action. We still up by 11. Sniffing out the play. Let's go. And I'm looking at the replay. We was not all sides. We timed that perfectly. I want y'all to notice that. I want y'all to see that. 14-3. Nico, you not going nowhere, dude. Nowhere. Another TFL. Second and 10. And, and this guy's instincts is, is, is just... <laughs> Yo, this dude is special, man. A lot of tackles, 10 tackles, 6 tackles for lows. No interceptions. Nothing ordinary, but we got the job done. We end up winning 23-3. 4-0. Going against Kentucky. They are 2-2. Two two. First play of the game, man. We make a TFL. All right here, we get a sack on the quarterback. That's why I love this dude. is like a Swiss Army knife, bro. Edge, you play corner, play safety, strong safety, free safety. This kid can do it all. And that is in this set. I believe that's Kareem Jackson. Another tackle on the quarterback, man. Just, just stop. <laughs> just stop, man. We are 35 to nothing. Throwing it deep. And that is Jackson's second interception on the game. I wish he could have returned that for a pick six, man. But that's okay. We are beautifully. And we get a second sack on the game as we end up winning that one. LSU, 3-2 LSU. You can see you rocking the orange jersey, man. We 5-0, number one team in the country still. That's the way we want to do it, man. Throwing it deep and that is intercepted. Bro, cut it back. That's what we talking about. You love to see it, man. We up 17 to nothing, and we get a first sack on the game. This dude is hype. Second and 13. Sniffing out the screen play, but no, that is your yeah, let's go. He scooped and scored. We coming into Baton Rouge and we are spanking that ass, man. 24 to nothing. And that is intercepted. These boys do not got Jaden Banners. We end up winning that game. Louisiana Lafayette. And they are four and two. Nothing ordinary in this game, man. Not a lot of action going on. Quiet game for us, but we end up do picking up the win. Two tackles, one TFL. We won 23 to nothing. On to game number two. Pick it up in the second half. We are down. We're well, actually up by four. Close competition, but we just definitely had to put it on a halfback pass to trying to spark something. And that is good. Damian Bell, you know, Complete for 24 yards, man. And Georgia just not go away, but 
we scored a touchdown to give us a little bit of breathing room. A little bit of breathing room, but that is it, baby. We end up winning this game. We had nine tackles, one TFL, and one sack. Games that we are glad that we won because we don't want nothing to stop us from trying to win back-to-back -back national championships. We are 8-0 taking on Vanderbilt. We make a pressure tackle, man. Second and two, blitzing off the edge, taking on the block, and we still make the tackle. Two tackles in this game so far. Second and 13. You throwing a break in one tackle. We had to come to the rescue, but not before. Skinner Jr. picks up a first down. First and 10, blitzing off the edge, bro. Get off of this, dude. Get some old muscle, man. Like, come on. I'm trying to block this dude one-on-one. -on -one. Third and nine. And somehow we get intercepted. I don't know what that quarterback was throwing it to, but hey, he hit that LeBron on him. Let's go. This this team has definitely been oppressive, bro. I see you make another tackle. But as long as we play like this and the offense is pulling on points, it's a scary sight, bro. Number 22, look at him, dude. I don't know how the hell he got in there so quick, bro. When, when I was playing the recording, that dude just kept moving back and forth, back and forth. When I seen it, I'm like, goodness, crazy dude, bro. We in the winning the game. We had seven tackles, so one interception. Bro, we in the winning the game. Barely 17 to nothing against Vanderbilt. 17 points, but hey, can't complain. But picking up in the fourth quarter, bro, this is one of those games that you wish you can have back. We made a stop. Offense put up points, but it's a little bit too late as we make a tackle. We suffer our first loss on the season. Five tackle, two tackles for loss, one sack. And hopefully that won't put us out the college football playoff picture. We end up losing by seven against five and four South Carolina, man. Second and nine, Jackson Dart, bro. Where are you going? You must not did not get the memo about this kid and that is intercepted y'all know we taking it to the crib let's go stop trying this dude man we up 14 to nothing 9 to 1 on the season drop down to number 8 and we wish we could have picked it off that death would have been 6 blitzing off the edge Jackson Dark bro just stop <laughs> just really stop bro and that should have been intercepted, bro. This defense is stingy. Fighting off a of block, making another TFL on the quarterback. But Ole Miss just will not go away. And that should have been intercepted, but I guess the rain, slippery, can't catch, bro. I wish we would have caught that. That definitely would have put that game away, bro. We actually did win, man. 27 to 10. Jump into our rivalry, bro. They 11 to 1. I mean, 10 and 1 number, 11 in the country, and that is a pick six. Back to back games with pick sixes. You definitely love to see it. You know, 7 to 10, and we make a wonderful tackle, TF. And I actually got two yards out of that. Third and 16, and that is intercepted, bro. These black jerseys are, woo. Let's go get that, do that gate of chunk, man. Taking off running, I advise you not, but he ended up picking up a nice little decent handful. We up 20 to 7. Bro, you no. Know, I said it before, you cannot outrun this dude from sideline to sideline. It just won't happen. And hey, look at the bunnies. Our second pick six of the game. Our best game so far as far as interception wise, five tackles, two interception, two pick sixes. We end up running with that game 34 to 7. The SEC Championship game, both of us at 11 and 1. Number 5, Alabama. They start off going in the wrong direction. But second and 13, you met your match, boy. You <laughs> met your match, Miro. You cannot out outrun this dude. I'm telling you, from sideline to sideline, you can't do it. Sniffing out the play, a TFL man, but that wasn't too much really going on. We ended up winning the game 40 to 13. Offense put it on Alabama. The national championship, even though we got that one loss, I believe UCLA lost, and we ended up jumping them. So hey, we're in the we're in the national championship game against Ohio State out here making plays. We are down though. And we make a big hit on the receiver. But he pick up six. So hopefully we can spark something, man. We get our first sack of this championship game. The offense is struggling. 
But we go, we out here making plays. Continue to make plays. And hopefully, we will spark this team. Second and twelve. Listen, I don't see how was that not a safety, bro? How was that not a safety? But hey, karma is a. It really is a. I'm telling you, we, we end up getting a safety anyway. The offense end up picking up a touchdown, so we are up nine to seven. Let's just continue to make plays out here. Continue to make plays, make a tackle. This dude, I was all, he, he is all over the field right now. They got a tackle third and four, and we end up giving up the first down. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. Another tackle. We up 16 to seven, bro. Let's keep them out. This is on yo. That's a pick six going the other way. Now we up country, bro. 22 to 7. They trying to get something going, but at this point, it's just a little bit too late. Definitely a little bit too late as we make another tackle. Under a buck 30 remaining. Third and two. They pick up the f no, they actually don't. And that's how we end the game, bro. Back to back national champions. You definitely love to see it in arguably. This kid is going to declare for the draft. <laughs> you know what I mean? 13 tackles, five tackles for loss, one sack. Definitely love to see it, man. At this point, if you watch this if far in the video, appreciate you, man. Love you to life. Don't exit the video, man. Stay tuned for more coming at you right now. I never thought I'd see myself in this situation. See these cops, undercover cops. They trying to shake me. They're trying to pin something on me that I know I didn't do. Now, as far as the guy that killed my mother... Like I told the undercover cops before, I could have killed him that night, but I didn't. But here we are running laps around the mulberry bush, thinking that, they thinking that, that I killed the guy. I had to explain to these guys. This particular night, this guy must have got into it with some other people. And the other people didn't take it lightly, so they scoped this dude out. Had this dude literally running down the street shooting at this guy. And once again, like I told these undercover cops, I could have killed him that night. I really could have, but as I say, you do good things, good things come back to you. So my hands are clean. I keep telling these cops I did not kill this guy. I wish I did, but I didn't. But since they don't really have specific evidence on me, they had to let me walk. It's a good feeling, man. The guy killed my mother is dead. I wish bad on nobody, but what goes around, comes around. 